Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alan. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be comparing uh, our drive image to uh, Acronis. Both of these are backup programs, software backup programs. What we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be looking... Oh, sorry about that. What we're going to be doing is looking at the uh, features, uh, compare between the uh, two programs, what they offer. We're going to uh, be looking at, we're comparing the trial version versus the full version. The uh, interface overview, how clean the interface looks. Uh, functionality, uh, the drive space that's used uh, for the images themselves and where we're going to put them or the options that we have to, you know, where to put them. Uh, the image times, how long it takes to actually create these images, some of these images. The price and comparison between the two, and then an overview. Uh, now, not necessarily in this order, but uh, we'll be doing a little bit of each as I go through this. I'm not going to try to make this too awful technical. I'm going to try to make it as simple as I can so everybody can understand it. <laughs> okay, now, first things first, as a disclaimer, I do not work for uh, the uh, company that develops the R Drive image program uh, or uh, Acronis. I do not work for either one of the uh, companies. I do not get uh, reimbursed uh, for advertising. This is just my own um, comparison between the two programs. So just just so everybody knows. Okay, so let's get right to it. So, um, uh, first things first, let's take a look at my drive. Okay, my local disk right now. This is a one terabyte drive that I just upgraded. This is my backup drive. This is where all the image files go. This is just a backup drive. This does not have the operating system on it. This is a 500 gigabyte drive soon to be upgraded to a two terabyte drive. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. Let's open this up. Okay, as you can tell, if you go into the R drive image folder that I created a while back, all this has is just the installation files. There's no image files in here, so that's empty. If you look into the Acronis folder, there's no image files in there. Okay, local disk, let's open this up. What we're gonna be doing here later is the Pinnacle Studio folder, which I work out of. This has all my files, all my folders. It has everything. This is what I work out of when I do my video editing. This is <laughs> extremely important. If I lose this, I lose about uh, probably about four or five months of work. So I, I got to protect it. Okay, so just keep in mind, Pinnacle Studio, all folders located on the local disk, which is C drive. Okay, we have our drive image, and this is the website. This is their uh, driveimage.com website. As you can uh, look it over, and you can see exactly what they have to offer. Uh, it can do everything that uh, the uh, Acronis uh, program can do. So you have the, uh, it does everything. It does whatever you need to do. We'll, we'll go into that here in just a second. But just, uh, you know, take a look at it and read it over. Read, see exactly what it says. Advanced drive and file imaging. That's uh, uh, advanced uh, drive and file imaging. Advanced image restoration for restoring your image files. Disk to disk copy. That's like for disk cloning. If you want to upgrade to a, a bigger SSD, uh, copy to, uh, copies are uh, complete image or a complete copy of your uh, existing SSD to a newer, uh, newer one. Partition Manager, Scheduler, we're going to be taking a look at that. The one that I use probably most of anything right now is the Advanced Drive and File Imaging. This one right here. And that's uh, 
you can either uh, image a complete uh, drive or you can just do individual files, files and folders, whatever you want to do. This tells you right here, got all more, more of the features, virtual drive mounting. Okay, so anyway, just, uh, you know, take a look. This one here, uh, Acronis, the uh, all-in-one cyber protection. Now, let me just say that Acronis, I believe, is a little bit well better known than the Drive Image program. Uh, if you mention Acronis to anyone, anyone that's in this business, as far as if they're in the, you know, PCs or whatever, they'll know, they'll know what you're talking about. They'll they'll recognize that name very very quickly. And from what I understand, Acronis is top of the line. They're pretty darn good. They're supposed to be pretty darn good as far as what they offer. Click on individuals. And it just tells you. So, um, you know, when you look at these, you pretty much, the first thing you got to figure out is what you're going to be wanting to back up either your complete C drive, individual files and folders like I do. Uh, everybody's different, so you got to kind of just compare the two and pretty much just base a decision on what you're doing. Uh, I'm showing you uh, uh, this, and then I'm going to comment on what I'm doing. So, okay, so let's start with, okay, let's start with drive image, the one I've been using for a while. And let's go ahead and go into the program itself, right there. Now that's a really nice interface. That's a clean interface. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing complicated about it. Create an image, restore an image, copy disk, partition manager, create OEM tasks and scripts, create image from files, check the image integrity of the images. Create a backup disk, mount virtual disk, unmount, and log files. So the one that I use the most every day is probably, or I should say, the create image from files. This is the one that I use the most. Okay, I use it about every once a week or so. You can also check the integrity of the images. Uh, but what I use most is create image from files. Create image is basically, this one here is if you're going to uh, completely image a com your complete C drive. I can't do that yet because I have to upgrade my backup drive to a two terabyte drive. Uh, so that's what this is here. Let's take a look at the Acronis program. There's the actual Acronis program when you open it up. Now, I've been messing around with this a little bit earlier today. And this is basically the same thing that our, that our drive does. Protection. I like this. This is where you can run a full scan or run a quick scan. It can tell you if there's any viruses on the, on the, uh, on the, on your system anywhere. I like this. You can archive your large and old files. Synchronize. Tools. Now, I like the tools here. Now, take notice that Clone Disk is only available if you subscribe to their service. Buy full version to unlock. I'll go into that here in a little bit later. Rescue Media Builder. That's create if you want to create a USB startup disk outside of Windows. Or Cronus Universal Restore. Try and decide system cleanup. And just leave it alone for right now. A Cronus Secure Zone. Cronus Drive Cleaner. Now what this is, as far as I can tell, 
and I haven't used it yet and I'm not going to use it right now but if you highlight let's say the the backup drive that I have and I want to clear out that backup drive I want to format it and just get everything off of it I believe that's what this is I'm pretty sure third-party tools Acronis cloud backup I'm not going to be using that all your tools here this is your account I have uh, I have 31 days left on this it's a it's just a trial version it's not the uh, subscription and the Acronis cloud storage and then settings and all that so let's start go up here okay let's go back to our drive real quick okay what I'm gonna do is we are right now we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna back up uh, a folder let me show you what we're gonna do create image from files that's what we're gonna do right here uh, the source of that would be here on C drive see where it says pinnacle studio all that's what I want it back back up I'm going to create an image file of that of that right there so I just check the one that I want to the, the one that I wanted you know back up not all of them so everything in that everything in that directory everything in that folder is going to be backed up into an image file okay uh, it says 923 files are selected size of that image file approximately 44.9 gigabytes well I can handle that click on next right here where are we gonna put it We're gonna put it on the backup drive right here go to put it in the R drive image folder that's where it's gonna go name of the file it's just a default name we're just going to leave that where it is click on next estimated total duration 29 minutes 38 seconds the last time I did this I believe it only took 12 minutes 12 or 13 minutes so and this is the most important folder on my C drive right now so let's go ahead and hit on start here we go processing it taking a snap into picture of it right now we'll snap a picture or an image and then we'll hit and create that image I've had people ask me why don't you just take the uh, whatever it is that you're backing up and just transfer it over to your uh, backup drive instead of having to do this well I, I can do that sure I think this is a little bit better I think it's uh, the integrity uh, it, it keeps all the files and folders uh, everything well organized and what this does it creates a complete snapshot of what you're backing up or what you're imaging okay so let's just do what it needs to do okay so we're almost done here coming up on a hundred percent looking good looking good looking good okay so image created successfully click OK time elapsed 8 minutes 54 seconds let's just round that off to 9 minutes okay so that's about a 9 minute operation let's go back to the uh, main menu 
There it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, where I put the image file, which was the backup drive. Our drive image folder, that's where it's supposed to be. Let's see if it's there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, how big is that image file? That image file is... Okay, Windows is reporting it as a 44.6 gigabyte image file. So that's about right. That's about what it calculated before it started the image uh, operation. Now, keep in mind that uh, this image file that I just created, if I were to do another uh, week's worth of work, and then I created another image file, it would update it. So this one here, if I go to restore it, it's going to restore it exactly as the way it was when it was created with no updates. So just kind of keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do the same thing with your Cronus. Nothing in there yet. Let's go ahead and shut this program down just to make sure it doesn't interfere with your Cronus program. I don't think it would. Okay, here's your Cronus. Okay, here's uh, Pinnacle Studio on the uh, my new drive right there. Where's the one we're looking for? Right there, that's the one we're looking for. On the local drive, Pinnacle Studio. Backup source, that's the backup source. Okay, now the interface on this is a little different. Uh, you just gotta really pay attention to what you're looking for and what you're going to be backing up. Make sure you don't have all these checked. Only check what you're going to be backing up. So the interface is a little different. You just got to be a little more careful about what you're going to select and what you're not going to select and where you're selecting it from. Okay, click OK. Estimated backup size of this is going to be 45 gigabytes. Click OK. It's going to go into the backup drive right here into your Cronus all folder. That's where it's going to go. Click on OK. Click on Backup Now. Okay, doesn't like something that I'm doing here. Let's figure out what it is. Okay, well the source, okay the source is the, um, where it's going to be 
uh, creating the image from. So local disk, open this up. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. Let's just close it down for right now. Let's go ahead and open it back up. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's just make sure that uh, uh, where we're telling it to look. There it is right there. So look on, look on, I'm oh, sorry about that. So look on local disk C. Okay, still there, nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and open uh, Cronus back up again. It did something I did something I didn't like. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and do it. It's gonna go ahead and create the image file from the Pinnacle Studio folder. And then it's gonna put it into the uh, Acronis All uh, directory on the uh, backup drive. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I might have. I think I know what I did. I I started a a backup earlier and I canceled it. That might have been what it was. I I don't know. Okay, so it's backing it up right now. So it's uh, what time is it? 4:56. Okay, now the R drive image program took nine minutes to do at 44.6. This is, uh, started at 4.56. Let's see how long this one takes. Same, same folder, same everything. Just a different program that we're using to do this. Could be faster, could be shorter, I don't know, let's find out. Now, like I said, this is this is just a trial, a 31-day trial that they give you to uh, to try this out, see if you like it or not. And then at the end of the video, I will go over. Um, I'll pretty much just compare the two and point out uh, certain features, uh, what the trial has and what the paid uh, paid options give you. I think you're gonna probably pretty much like that here. Now most of uh, your software backup programs, they use pretty much the same technology. Acronis might use something a little different, I don't know. Um, our drive image might use something a little bit different, I don't know either. <clears throat> And when this is done, we'll take a look. We'll take a look in the Acronis directory, and we should see a, a an image file in that Acronis directory on the uh, on the on the uh, backup drive. Would I estimate that to be about forty about forty five gigabytes? Where are we at right now? Thirty seven. It's not too bad. Now, like I said earlier, when I get my backup drive upgraded to a two terabyte drive, then we'll start doing full image backups. We'll see uh, how that goes and how long that takes. 
between the two programs, between R Drive and Enercronus. Backup was successfully completed. Next backup I have scheduled at 5 o'clock. <laughs> which is at one minute. Let's, uh, let's wait and see what happens. Let's give it that one minute and see what happens. Okay, so we're looking at about Four minutes to do that as compared to nine minutes with our drive. That's fine. Okay, it's automatically starting up a backup routine, calculating the time. It's going to back up the same. Uh, the same thing we just backed up. The backup was successfully completed. Now the reason I'll, I'll go into that here in just a second. Okay, so anyway, it says next backup is due tomorrow at five o'clock. That's fine. Let's go into options. Let's take a look at something here. Okay, we have the schedule daily schedule every so many hours weekly once a day at a certain time uh, monthly upon event or that's when you tell it when you tell it to or non-stop now non-stop I believe is constant incremental or constant backing up with a Cronus monitoring monitoring what you're doing so if you're working, if I'm working in the, uh, in a folder, doing files, moving files around, deleting folders, creating folders, it's going to, it's going to continuously update what I'm doing. And if I'm not mistaken, that's something that our drive does not do, but this will. So this is a nice feature to have in case you forget to, you know, do a, a a backup uh, at a certain time so we could do this I think I have mine set for daily every or once a day daily once a day is what I have it set right now for five o'clock Okay, let's go into the, um, back into the backup drive, into the Acronis folder. Okay, there it is right there. This right here is the full backup that I did on Pinnacle Studio folder that I showed you, excuse me. And then this one right here was the one that was scheduled for five o'clock. If you notice in the file name, it says INC, that stands for incremental. I didn't make any changes, but it still backed it up. So these two, I believe, pretty much go together. size of this file is 44.8 the uh, Cronus I mean the uh, R drive was 44.6 that's pretty darn comparable that's, that's pretty darn close between the two so now I have a image file from Acronis and also got an image file for our drive. So I got two. I got if one uh, doesn't work, the other one will, hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and close this down. We don't need this anymore. <clears throat> 
Okay, back to our drive. Okay, so the primary difference between these two as far as you get a free 30-day trial with this, the free 30-day trial is full functionality. They don't leave anything out. In other words, when you go to uh, use this program, you get full functionality for everything here. Okay, create image. This is where you image your complete C drive. Create an image from files. That's what we just did. You can restore. You can check the image. Create startup disk. Copy the disk. Copy the disk is where you uh, do disk cloning. For you can upgrade from one uh, one SSD up to another. Partition manager. With the Acronis program, this is a subscription-based program. And if you click on Buy Now, let's see what they'll charge you for it. It's not real. I mean, it's not that bad. But it's really up to you that what you want to do. I'm just doing a comparison here. Okay, so you have just one computer, one, three, or five. For one year, it would be 30 SC. One year subscription. I thought I saw it was less than that. Yeah, I know that. 62.99. I think it was less than that. I don't know. I'll take another look here in a minute. Anyway, okay. So you got the scheduler protection. You got the active protection where you can do the full run the full scan, run a quick scan. You can archive. You can synchronize the tools. Now keep in mind that the free trial version of R Drive lets you clone a disk. And that's the free, that's the free version, the free 30, 31 day version of our drive. Whereas Acronis will not. Acronis, you have to buy the full version in order to, uh, or buy or buy into a subscription in order to use this feature. Whereas with our drive, you do not. Now the cloud. If you want to sign up for that, you can. I, I kind of prefer not to because I like to know exactly where my image files are and I can uh, access them uh, just as easy as up on the cloud. So that's, I'll, I got to get a subscription to this, but I'm not going to use the, the cloud backup. And then you have to sign up for the, the cloud storage uh, separately. Okay, so it's a toss. It's uh, you can either use our drive image or a free 30 day trial, full functionality, nothing restricted. You get to use all this. Doesn't leave anything out. Or you can use a Cronus and uh, get full functionality with that only if you get in, uh, buy into a subscription with them. Let's see what we got. Where it says buy now. Let's see what that says. Gives us here. Okay, so for one computer, there we go, that's, that's what I was looking at earlier. For one computer, advanced one year subscription to Acronis is 3849. That's not bad per year. 
and then you get the 50 gigabyte uh, cloud storage with that which I wouldn't use anyway but that's like I said that's pretty much just personal preference so so with this you get the flash code backups the pull them at the file level that's what you get with our drive active this cloning you get that with our drive ransomware protection any virus and any malware protecting computers and backups that's something extra that you get with this cloud backup that's something extra you get with this so it's really a matter of personal preference of what you want to do here now this is 38.49 per year whereas our drive it's 44.95 just to buy it outright And like I said, they give you a free 30-day uh, complete trial. So, uh, you know, you have to pretty much decide which one you want to use, but which one uh, would work best for you and for and and for what you're doing. Now, if you're going to image, uh, if you're doing complete imaging on your C drive, uh, it might be better to go with your Cronus because your Cronus gives you um, uh, you can schedule uh, I like it scheduler um, you can do it daily once a day twice a day every so many hours weekly monthly non-stop that's something I'm gonna look into here so it's like just you know whatever whatever it is that you want to do it, it's it's basically all personal preference as far as cost it's only about what maybe eight nine dollars difference but you're gonna you know decide for you which one's gonna be best and uh, uh, you might want to start out with our drive you might want to start out with the Corona's. so okay I'm gonna let you go here and uh, hopefully this has been helpful to everybody and just try to leave your uh, comments and feedback if you want to I'm open for that and uh, if there's something you want to know uh, either send me an email or put a comment down below and uh, I'll take a look at it and I'll try to get back with you okay so next time I do one of these uh, we'll be doing a comparison again We'll compare the Acronis with the uh, drive image or vice versa. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, I will get back with you later on when I do another one of these. Okay, everybody. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.